This is Outdated, and welcome back to Episode 8 of Mass Effect. We are finishing up our time here on the Citadel. I'm trying to finish the, um... I like scanning the Keepers mission thing. And I don't know if I got any down here or not. But CSEC, we're definitely going to go in there. Hey, there's a... What are you? Looks like I scanned him already. Talk to him, why not? Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Nah, it's just... I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. This is so awkward. Let's go to CSEC. We needed to meet up with somebody anyway. Run, 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 run. And I'm willing to bet there's some keepers in there I've missed. And just as a quick check... I don't know where to find that guy. I we'll have to. I only have three of these things left to find. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Hmm. Why do I think that's going to come up later? Let's see, looking for keepers in all the wrong places. Let's start this way. Let's just head up here. I also have somebody I need to see anyway. And maybe that CSEC officer I haven't been able to find is here someplace. Alright, this guy's talkable. Let's talk to Jalid. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Kill you? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and... Following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Okay, how can I help? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is, and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Okay, that does... tell us something. Hey, CSEC officer. Hello, Commander. Well, that was an important conversation. Hello, Commander. I got nothing for you. All right, let's see what's up here. A keeper I've already scanned. Okay, it looks like nothing of use. All right, let's go to the other side. So we definitely made some progress there, and now we know that guy that he's dealing with is the same guy that's having us scan the Keeper, so that kind of brings those two jobs together. We're back out here, let's look around. Nobody to talk to, I think that brings us back out. That's the fast travel spot, so let's try over here.
Requisitions officer, that's what we need. Let's just go and take care of this. Commander right, Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Sure is. How did you I know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? I need to buy. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Sweet! Stuff I can't afford. Awesome. That sniper rifle's a beast, though. So is the shotgun. So is the assault rifle. I mean, all this stuff. Better than what I have. I just can't afford any of it. And I'm not really sure where to get more credits. As I scroll down, the best thing I can get my hands on is considerably down the list. Grenade upgrade one. Hmm. You know what? Let's do these. We'll definitely do that. There we go. Something came out of this. All right, let's go. Elevator to docking bay. To presidium. You know what, let's go back to the wards then. Market. We're going to go there to see if we find that guy. Alright, I'm at the market ward. Now, where is our guy, the Solarian? We already scanned that one. He said it would stick out. There's quite a few Solarians here. I bet that's him. All right, I'm at a loss. Checking out some of these rooms. Alright, this is that dark little tunnel. That's the elevator in it. The elevator to Presidium. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, I don't need to do that. Okay, you know what? I'm at a bit of a loss. Let's go to the financial district. I'm going to keep trying to find those keepers for now. That seems like a place I may have missed them.
Oh, I know where I am now. Okay. Nothing very impressive here to deal with. Let's head. You know what? Let me check over here real quick. Once I do that, I think I know what I'm going to do. I've already scanned him. I've already scanned him. Is this the... Yeah, that's our place. All right. All right. We are going to go ahead and go to CSEC. And we're going to get out of here. I'm not going to worry about the rest of the quest here. I can always come back and do it later. It's not that big of a deal. C-Sec. Let's go ahead and head to the... Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to meet them at the ambassador's office. Oops, oops, my bad. Oh, but wait a minute. I can go... Let's go ahead and go to the docking base anyway. Let's go to the docking base anyway. That's per to Presidium. This is to docking base. Because I thought I might find one of those things. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Sharon, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. <laughs> I think they did a good job of like rewriting these. Oh, okay, here they are. And is there a keeper out here? Before I talk to you, I gotta go see if there's a keeper. And hello, keeper. He's a keeper. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to do a quick check. Jaleed's fear. I just don't know how to find this idiot. Mark all interests is viewed. All right, it doesn't give me like a um, waypoint or anything. The fan. One keeper left. That's it. Let's just go talk to them. Well, you know what? Let's save in case this gets ugly. Sure, remember right. It does not get ugly at all, but still. Here we go. I've got good news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. No sudden. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Hmm. I will. What's going on or forced retirement? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't add to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Well, we're wrong. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistake. Any word on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferro's in Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. 
stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Count on me. I'll stop it. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Okay, and the, actually Liara is the last member of our team that we can get, so we're going to go ahead and do that one. I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck in the up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Yes, Commander. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sam. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. You and Saren have a past. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectre. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why hide this? Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. What happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Something went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Good God. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectre. You got blamed? Saren caused the explosion. How did he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for this. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. It wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectre. If so, he pulled it off. That's not fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me, or their best agent. I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. It wasn't your fault again? Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Sam. Okay, right, we've done this. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Okay, sometimes you'll find where the dialogue in this will kind of loop around. If so, he pulled it off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Let him get away with it. 
Who do you think the I'm only doing it because I want my response to sound more friendly than the one I saw so I had a bad thing about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Forget about the past. The only thing I care about is stopping Sarah. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. So now technically we're ready to go into the ship. I still have one more keeper to find. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Warren investigates corruption on the Citadel. Covers a full-blown crime syndicate. That's the one I helped. Nice. I am trying to figure out where that last keeper is. It's bothering me. I think that's the only one I can really finish right now. Huh. These are in odd places. Always could be one hiding back there. And there's a little X down here. Oh, it's just letting me know it's a shop, I guess. All right. Oh, you know what? We're going to head back to the Presidium. A celestial excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I like how all the weapons are so modular. Okay, and this brings us out here to Citadel Tower, to embassies. Where in the world could that last guy be that last keeper you know what sake of argument let's check up here where we're in the ambassador's office can't get in there we'll check both of these offices well, there's Captain Anderson. He found his way back. Is there a keeper in here? I always thought there was one, like, hiding around a corner somewhere. Garrus. There could be one in here. I have not really done much here. Let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, I scanned him. Dang it. Thought I found him. I did not. The Earth Clan Spectre has returned to speak with me. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. <laughs> what is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus. 
when I'm not being interrupted. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dim. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. Hmm. You may be right, I'm just gonna go and go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Okay, I was hoping I would find the last one I was missing there, but I had no luck. I've tried all these areas. I got nothing. You know what? Let's go down here. That's the elevator to C-Sec. This just seems like an area I probably haven't been in. Like right down here, down below here. Maybe there's one hiding out down here. Maybe not. It would be nice to find that last one, I'm just saying. It'd also be nice to find that uh, guard that I didn't talk to when I should have. But I'm having no luck there either. I've already scanned you. Okay, I hate to say it, but we're out of here. We'll continue this another time. I might look up where they are just so I can get it over with. I'm going to go ahead and take the Normandy out. That's a good way to end the episode. Why do I have a... Why do I have a... Um... It's marking the quest as here. I just don't see him. Is that a glitch? Should I have talked to him before? I think so. Maybe if I leave and come back, it'll work. We'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's see, uh, Presidium locations. Back. No, no, no. Ward locations. We're going to go to CSEC, and then we'll take that elevator to the Dogman Base, and we'll head out. And that's going to end the episode are leaving the Citadel. And I think I'll come back to the Citadel and work on its stuff later. It's time to get out there. Okay, where does this go? Docking bay, that's what I wanted. Binary Helix has settled out of court by a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. So, one thing about RPGs, I mean, it is all about communication, all about talking to different characters. What was this? Normandy weapons? Might as well. Let's see, are there any more things I can do that with? Normandy hull, doing an inspection. Inspection, why not? Let's see if there's one up here. Normandy thrusters. 
So I'm getting me a little bit of XP too, so why the heck not? Alright, let's go. Starting to worry that wasn't gonna open. There we go. Enter the Normandy. Stand by. Decontamination in progress. We are decontaminated. All right, here we go. It's probably gonna load. So I think for now we're done. Oh. Anderson survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission. You're next on the chopping block. This feels wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? <laughs> Now's the time. I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Hmm. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop it. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. All right, now that's it. We're going to go ahead and take her out, and then that's how we're going to end the episode. I think I'll just look up later where that last keeper is. If anyone wants to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. They're on our side. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. You doubt my decisions? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. That actually gave me Renegade and Paragon points. Weird. Okay, let's... Let's do this. The galaxy map. All right, right now we're at the Citadel. We're gonna zoom out. This this way of like travel was always really cool. We're gonna zoom out a little more. There we go. Zoom out even more. Oh, now we're getting there. Okay. Now I think they said Novaria was where I would find. Um, wait, no, it was Liara's dig site in Artemis Tau. That's where we're gonna go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make our trip there. Sparta, Macedon, Athens, Gnosis, okay I honestly don't remember what planet she's supposed to be on. So we'll head there. There we go. This is how you end an episode, I guess. Taking her out. This episode is definitely run long. Ooh, here we go. Off we go. Now, we're going to boldly go where no one has gone before or whatever. Okay, wait a minute. This is where we were. Uh, wait, this is... Does it show me? I'm gonna zoom out. Try a different one. 
Okay, so once we're here, we just travel this way. All right, I'm just trying to figure out the right planet here. Salamis, Nausicaa, Circe, Proteus. You know what, let's back out. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to end the episode here. And when I start the next one, I'm going to, you know, look up where the um, lady's supposed to be, and we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please like and subscribe. It took me longer to get out of the Citadel than I wanted. That's one of the strengths of this game. You just want to finish all those quests. You want to get every little thing done. And it just, um, that's the thing about RPGs. It'll, it'll like, suck you in. I need to be more cogn cognizant of the time. But um, when we get to the next episode, we're going to figure out where... Uh, What's her name is? Uh, yeah, Liara, and we're going to you know, work on getting her on the crew and do that mission. So this has been Outdated, and I will see you in the next episode of Mass Effect.